Hey there, Craig Grabo with Central Lawn Care. I hope you'll take a moment to talk lawn and landscape with me. As with the majority of the world, I am getting my children ready for online learning. So I am gonna be shooting some videos from home. I hope that you'll enjoy my landscape as I show it to you. I hope you'll enjoy Luna, make it a beeline for probably a squirrel or something of that sort. So uh, today I would like to cover crabgrass. Lucky for me, I don't have a lot of crabgrass, even though I have plenty of other weeds, just because we don't really treat our lawn, just because that's just how we like to do it around here. But I really would like to cover crabgrass. I happen to have a patch of it, and it's one of the easiest things to keep out of your lawn, as long as you do just a few critical things. The very first thing is pre-emergent. No matter which type of pre-emergent that you decide to use, whether it's organic or whether it's synthetic, either of them is gonna be very effective. Organic options might be corn gluten, uh, and then the synthetic options are gonna be just your standard pre-emergent herbicide. So those are kind of base materials. But even aside from that, those do break down throughout the season. And they break down either by photodegrading, which is gonna happen with bare to thin soil, or they're gonna happen with erosion or other things that can kind of move the soil by cracking, by drying out and stuff like that. The other thing is gonna be your mowing height. We always talk about mowing height. It's critical so that we have a good root structure. We have good canopy coverage of our good turf grass above ground uh, so that there's no seeds that are able to germinate in that bare spot. The other thing is, is when it gets hot and dry, just water your grass. It doesn't have to be vibrant green. It just needs to be almost like a sage color. Just enough water just to keep your cool season grasses nice and growing during that hot dry spell is going to do wonders for cutting down on weeds in general, but especially crabgrass. So real quick, let's just go ahead and take a look at the patch that I have over here, right next to our landscape bed. So it's right here, you can see it'll grow, it'll root by these little nodes right here, and it's just gonna creep along your, uh, along the ground and start to spread. And the thing is, is that it really loves those marginal areas. It loves the areas along your concrete, your driveway, uh, any of your blacktop surfaces. It's gonna love along your landscape beds, wherever the soil is relatively exposed and able to break down, even if you have pre-emergent, it's gonna love those areas. So really focus on trying to keep your lawn good and set up as far as watering, mowing height, no bare to thin spots. Um, the other thing that a lot of people do and we do it ourselves is they arm themselves with just a bag of seed throughout the season. Don't make a big to-do of it. A lot of people are like, hey, today's my weekend. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna seed. Don't do that. Just take a handful as you're out mowing, as you're out watering, as you're out just walking around. Just take a handful. You see a little spot, you know, say it's six by six inches or so. Just talk down a little bit of seed. You might even rough it up just a little bit and just let it ride it'll germinate. It's not going to not germinate. It might not just all of a sudden fill in like a 12 by 12 spot. That might have to be a bigger to do. But if you have little spots, just toss down a little seed and you're good to go. So I hope that you learned a little bit more about crabgrass. We didn't dive into kind of like the biology of it or just the overall structure, but you know a little bit more about how you can prevent it. So I really appreciate you taking a moment to talk lawn and landscape with me. Till next time.